Okay, guys, new building, floor one. Uh, something we can do. We can look in on the thing. Which we could have done last time, or, well, on the other game, but with great difficulty. Now, something changed on this one is before you could use the uh, sniper that you get in later in the game and pick the people off from here because as soon as we enter here be careful you absolutely must not use weapons in that area I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to colonel what what are you talking about have you forgotten that's where they keep the nuclear warheads can't you see them yeah there's lots of boxes piled up in here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. Well, we don't have much choice there, really, do we? So, it's, uh, bare knuckles time. But we won't even be using bare knuckles. We'll just wait for this. Uh, open this and get in here. And look outside. And I think I can get out now. Right, we need to wait for... yep, he's already walking away. See, we need to walk, walk quietly on this, because they're a bit smarter on this game. And they'll be able to hear... ...hear footsteps. And call the elevator. Good boy. And we want to be going to... ...be... ...one first. <clears throat> B1. Now we can use our weapons again. Very handy. Before we go in there. Freeze. <laughs> we've got some business to take care of. Don't kill me. No, I'm not gonna. Just put you to sleep. And we've already got full life. So that's fine. Oh, just something I need to get out of here. Which is... The Nikita. I always used to call it Nikita, but... Nikita... I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to say it now. I was young back then. So let's uh, take everything out of here. Can't go in there yet. But I need to be rather quick about this. <coughs> can't go in there. Can't go in there. And we can't go in there. So it's time to head down to B2. Yeah, you don't have to keep pressing it, but I always have done and I always will do. So, yes. Nuke building, basement 2. And um, there's another green uh, person on our minimap. He can't hear us. Okay. So let's get our Nikita out. And. Cutscene time.
Okay. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Yes, yeah, Snake. Use a remote controlled missile. Now, on the original PS1 version and the PC version, you couldn't, uh, you could go in first person like this, or, dude, or you could actually see the missile, the missile, just in uh, a normal view. On this, you have to go in the first person. It does it automatically. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Ah, we need to destroy the switchboard. Now let's get out of here and get our O2 gauge back up. And let's head on into the room, see if we can find anything. Which is made immensely easier in this game because we can, uh, we don't have to keep switching to our key card. So we found another book and we found the gas mask which I'm going to be putting on now. And if we look through the gas mask we look like that. Gas mask makes your O2 go down uh, slower. Probably didn't have to explain that but I just thought I would. I want to check over here but I don't like, I can see it, it's there. There we go. Oh, okay, now I'm going to get out and uh, refill my O2. Because I just want to have a little check, see if there's anything around there. The, snake's lo the snake looks badass with the uh, gas mask on. No, no, oh, we can go in here. Grenades. Grenades. Oh, C4. Where is it? It's there. And I believe there's one more, but we'll get to that when we get to it. That's where I've just been. Get your gun out, snake. Ooh. More Nikita missiles. Uh, ration and chaff grenade. So not too much, but what's this here? I actually have no idea. But we need to get going quickly. And there we go. Nuke building basement 2, still, but a different part. Got the same time.
aus. Okay. Wow. I'm going to make quite a few references to the past game, and on the past game, or on the original, I'll call it the original, on the original, there was a guy about here who was um, still alive. But as soon as you couldn't go first person, and you could only shoot like that, you couldn't aim to kill him. On this, you would be able to. But it seems he's not here anymore, and there's only dead people. So, you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Stealth camouflage? Who are you? <laughs> Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. Hey. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> uh, all right then. Watch from your box seat. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Okay. Oh, well, great start. I think this is uh, <coughs> significantly easier than the first one, obviously there. I just couldn't remember what button I needed to press. Where is it? After a couple of hits. He speaks the truth. Yes, uh, I need to get used to this. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, right, okay. There we go, I think I've got it now. I don't know where he is, but... Uh. Oh, I didn't know he was going to kick as well. Well, yeah. I need to stop rolling. I 
And just keep getting hits on him and not doing that. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, come on. Oh, fucking chair. Yes. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I didn't. Yes, I did. You know what? I'm gonna use a bandage. Even though I have absolutely no need to, I'm gonna use a bandage. With that little minuscule bit of help. And there we go, there's the uh, ration that I tried saving. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sweet child of mine! Cremated me chips. Mummy's dicks. Most of you won't know what that's from, but yeah, if you can name what that's from, I'll be uh, quite happy. I'll be quite impressed. Are you gonna uh, stop this now? There we go. I think this is significantly easier to do as well. I know, I'm just getting my life back, don't worry. Oh, it wasn't. Ah. I'll just get it up a little bit. No, oh, he didn't say it. Get up. Now, when he does this bit, it gets significantly easier, in my opinion. Just one bang. And then I'll start doing two little fadeaways, and then three. So that's one. Too busy for a game. That's good, Snake. Well, if that's what you want. That's good, Snake. And that is him completed, or defeated. Zanzibar. Happening. 
Is it over? Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Gray Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The records said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh. Well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm. Are you hurt? Ah, uh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? Aren't they just trying to use the TMD missile module to launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. I... No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? 
So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the President personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but... Are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? Did the terrorists launch that thing? No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault. The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? <sighs> okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? 
Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You are all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. An otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later.